Hi everyone and welcome to episode 15 of my kind of a podcast. So I actually had a completely different topic that I wanted to uh, address today, but I realized that it is a uh, Shalon Lester season right now on YouTube and I didn't really want to miss the boat. So I decided to push this topic forward a little and discuss the lady whose name I put in the title. So, <laughs> well, actually, no, we're not going to talk about her. Uh, we are going to mention her, but uh, we're not really going to discuss her. So um, I suppose that you probably know who Shalon Lester is. Uh, she is a woman who has a YouTube channel and at the moment that when I am recording this video, she is being, being the topic of many commentary videos because of her content and also because of her behavior, particularly uh, the fact that she kind of appears to be in a feud with uh, another YouTuber, D'Angelo Wallace, and uh, accusing him of doxing her and people are saying that she is a predator and an awful person, which kind of, you know, I don't, I don't see a problem with that because I kind of agree that it is true. Um, but the, I don't really want to talk about this because a lot of people have already done it very well. And uh, instead, I want to talk about the kind of person that she is and uh, my feeling about this type of women, particularly, because, well, maybe it applies to some men, but these particular traits I have mostly seen in women and myself being a woman, uh, this is something that I have experienced with other women around me. We will start with just talking about how I came across this woman and uh, why she inspires these feelings in me. I really didn't know who this woman was, but she kept having her videos recommended to me on YouTube for a reason that I am not really sure because the things that she talks about are not necessarily the things that I am interested in but I'm guessing because she kind of falls under the umbrella of commentary maybe that the algorithm thought I would enjoy her content so the first video I saw of her was the one that she made about Pete Davidson and I watched the video because I had recently watched Pete Davidson's uh, special on Netflix and I was really wondering why people didn't like him so much when he seems to me to be a really decent guy. Uh, he has his issues, but watching him on SNL and everything, I didn't think he was an awful person. Uh, so I watched her video and I was very, very annoyed about the things that she was saying and the, the way that she was discussing mental illness and the fact that he was thinking about ending his life. And she had a very callous way of discussing issues that were so sensitive. And I didn't like that, but she kept coming back in my recommended. So I kept, you know, watching her videos. I never had even the urge to hit the subscribe button. Uh, but I thought, you know, yeah, let's, let's give, give her a chance. Let's see what she has to say. And I kept seeing those videos. And, and the way she talks as well, like she, doesn't edit her videos at all so she just sits there and talks and then she will go on a tangent and she will interrupt herself to talk about something that has nothing to do with whatever the topic is and 
she was saying things that were bothering me very much. She was talking about the fact that she was a, a woman who fights, that she wears hoop earrings, hoop earrings, and it means that she's a woman who fights. Like, what does that? What does that even mean? Is is fighting a personality trait that some women have for some for some reason? I don't know. So, I really thought that she was giving me this vibe of. Um, those 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 mean girls from high school those girls that are popular but that are not nice the ones that that drop the pig's blood on carrie's head at the prom you know those kind of girls and i, I really didn't like that but it kind of reminded me of the fact that a lot of women confuse having a, a strong personality and being a bitch because that's what it is you know you you can have a strong personality a strong sense of self a high self-esteem and you can you know have charisma and comment respect and everything without having to resort to violence to manipulation to intimidation you know it's it's okay to be a strong person and for it not to be to the detriment of other people around you being you're not strong because the others are weak you are strong because you are and you can be strong irrespective of the people around you and uh it reminded me you know i i did say that it was a trait that i uh saw mostly in women but it does remind me of somebody i used to work with before he was actually my boss and uh i used to have this conversation with my colleagues that him he had a friend who often came into the office and who was a very loud very um authoritative man and um he basically you just heard his voice in the corridors and automatically your spine would straighten up and your posture would be perfect because you knew he was around and you didn't want to get on his bad side kind of and you you knew it's like he had this aura about him that made you want to respect him without even knowing him he wasn't necessarily a good person he was he was actually a really awful man but uh he commanded respect my boss on the other hand was uh not that charismatic his physical appearance wasn't as striking uh he was short he was humped like hunched over and uh fat and he had a little whiny voice and but he had a very high opinion of himself he he really thought that he was the shit and um he had this way of talking to people of talking down to people or of behaving as if he was better than everybody else even though that there was nothing to warrant that feeling in him but he had this or you know aura about him that he was full of himself i always compared him and his friend to two types of dogs so to a chihuahua and a rottweiler the Rottweiler, you see that kind of dog that very strong, very, you know, and automatically you think, okay, I have to, you know, behave because this dog might bite. The Chihuahua is not as impressive or as commanding as the Rottweiler. So it will, 
yap, 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 and, and snarl, and, and all of that, until you think, ah, yeah, he might try to snip the back of my ankle uh, if I give him a chance. So, one of them, you actually respect without them having to do anything because they commend that respect because they are strong people the others they scare you into not even respecting them they scare you into submission in a way that you think okay i better mind myself because this little thing might hurt me and that's that's the difference you know between being a strong person and being a bitch and I, we've seen a lot of these st strong bitches especially in reality tv when you have the people going in the confessional and talking about how they keep it real and they tell it like it is and they say whatever they want and if somebody is not happy they can just step out and the thing is you don't actually have to say everything just because it's true like if you know you're going to say something as true as it is but that this thing is going to hurt someone and it's not going to achieve anything other than hurt feelings you don't have to say it. What do you have to gain from from hurting someone? Gratu gratu there is no no need for anybody to uh, create this kind of atmosphere and to make others feel bad so they can feel good you can uh, be a good person irrespective of the people around you is what i mean you don't have to put people down to make yourself look better you don't have to be awful to others to look good in comparison so um so that's basically what I wanted to, you know, put out that um, I would like for people to actually ask themselves, um, what is the cost of them keeping it real and telling it like it is? Is it really worth it in the end? Does it benefit, you know? somebody really is it is it really to the benefit of somebody or is it um a way for you to look better because you made somebody else look bad and to me that's who that's who sharon lester is she is the girl who steps on other people so that she can shine just you know just because it's so much easier to be a bitch than it is to be a strong woman. And that's how we are going to end this video. I thank you very much for spending this little time with me. Uh, next time we will talk about something completely different. And I hope you will be there with me. And I will see you then. Bye.